Hey, lolly guys and gals, the Welsh Eddie here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in the very first figment, Journey into the Mind. Now, this was developed and published by Bedtime Digital Games, and is usually available for £14.99 slash $19.99, but again, has just arrived on the Xboxist of Game Passist, so, well, you know the drill by now, if you don't got it, get it. Right, so, now obviously because we've done the, or I've done the second game first, if you've already played the second game, you will know that we play as Dusty, uh, the mind's fearfulest courage who is now completely miserable as sin, and once again, well I say once again, this since this will be the first time, has to go on a journey in order to clear the mind. So obviously it's set, it's like a musical kind of puzzly uh, action-adventure kind of game. Uh, we got a little friend, little bird friend Piper on us, and, you know, it's all it's all the good stuff. Now, if you've already played the second game, it's just as fun. Um, but if you haven't played the second game yet, this is fun, and the second game's just as fun. Uh, as for achievements, now, there is a lot this time in order for knocking loads of doors, um, defeating all enemies, etc, etc. Most of them are on the same path, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, anything, though, that uh, requires something, I'll obviously let you know. So let's just get on with it. Let's do it. So you're looking at around three to four hours anyway. Again, uh, dialogue you can skip through with the A button, smash through that. Cutscenes you can't skip through. So let's... Let's prepare. Let's mentally prepare. Hey, Dad. Do you ever parachute on your job? Huh? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, you would be too scared to parachute off a building, Dad. Leave your dad alone, honey. You don't need to parachute when you sell houses. Boring. When I grow old, I want a job where you have to parachute. What? Oh, crap! Wake up! Come on, you lazy bum! Wake up! <sighs> oh, you! Go away! I'm sleeping! Not anymore, you ain't! You're right! There are fears to fight and a hero never sleeps! Oh, right. Let me guess. No fears to face? As always. Go home, bird. I need a drink. Now, to be fair, if we're going to start a game where we're pissed off because we need ice for our drink and it's not here, then th that's a good idea. It's, it's not a bad start. So, as we begin then, uh, obviously it's the B button to roll slash dodge, A button to do nothing, and we don't have a sword yet, but normally when we do, it'll be the X button. So, we're going to run up here, grab the orange battery, and obviously just like the second game again, in case you've played it, because I, I think I've done that a few months ago, um... Remember, we've got uh, different colored batteries and we have to solve a lot of puzzles. It's a very puzzly action -y adventure game. So kick the uh, switch there, that'll get us up. Y button to go into your inventory and then press the A button to pop the orange battery down and voila, we have some icicles. So go ahead, uh, pick up the icicles, take them back down to your drink where you will discover something literally horrifying. And in fact, it would be every alcoholic's worst nightmare as well. Nice. Let's get it back to my rocking chair and I'm good. You do remember I'm called Piper, right? <laughs> Whatever, turkey tit. <laughs> ah, now for a... Wait, where's my drink now? I'm pretty sure. My scrapbook. Where did it go? <laughs> you lost it, friend! What? Leave my scrapbook alone! It's mine now! <laughs> so loosen up! Give that back! 
that book is mine. Eventually, we all lose everything. Where's me flippin' drink? Drink! The drink disappeared, and it was because of that guy thing right there. Uh, anyway, kind of a linear path for the time being. You're literally just going across a few platforms, obviously just getting used to a feel of the couple of games and everything. Now, obviously, these are lifts, which later on we'll have to take the mic, we'll have to take the disc and put it on another one to get up a lift. But anyway, just continue following along for now. Nothing, nothing of interest going on, ish. For you, my friend, dark, devouring despair, surf ice cold. <laughs> So these happy little holes, they just basically get you stuck. So all you got to do to dodge them is just, well, dodge over them. So you actually have to let yourself get caught there first and then press the B button in order to, jo to dodge. So there'll be a few more as we head down. So obviously, you know, just dodge your way through. Um, <laughs> well, actually, we've got old um, hentai tentacles going nuts. So head up and this is where we're going to dodge the few things. More of these twirlers. What are those anyway? Don't care. Need to get through it. So with the metal disc here, then we're going to pick this up with the A button, and then we're going to head back on our cell. So again, dodge all over all the things. Now these reward systems, uh, basically these little silver balls. Every time you do something good, you will effectively get a uh, bonus point. Now there's three achievements for getting the bonus points, um, so you'll effectively get this way towards the end of the game anyway, um, but just make sure every enemy you kill and every major event you do, you pick up those silver balls and put them square in your pocket. So off we go, you've popped the metal disc down from your inventory and there is your sword. Right, two attacks that you can use with Dusty's wooden sword. The X, if you just keep hitting the X button, it's the light attack. If you hold the X button, you can see Dusty start shaking like he's got a... <laughs> like he hasn't had any alcohol for a day. And that is the heavy attack. So with this enemy, just wait until he smashes his head down. Obviously, you'll have to dodge him. And the best way to do this then is to, again, hold the X button and use a heavy attack on him. And that'll get his health going down a lot quicker. Your arm still works! So again, remember to stick those silver balls where the sun don't shine in your pocket and just do the same here. So again, wait. You can see the shadow on the ground, of course. So just wait until uh, the hentai tentacle smashes down and then swing to your heart's desire. So this is the first door then, what we are going to knock on. Now remember in the second game, uh, they got rid of the achievements for knocking on doors, so you didn't have to. This one, there are, I think, 16 in this area, 15 in the next one, and 14 doors to knock in the last area. So you'll know when you've knocked a door, as you can see, the light comes on, um, somebody will say something, something rather funny, and then it's job done. Uh, now once we've got up here, again, if you ever need any health, you'll see some green balls floating around the tree and there's normally plenty enough i think i only die twice in the game so uh, there's plenty of these health trees about if you need them right so we're gonna head down we're gonna knock on this door now as well so that should be door numero two no although nobody seems to be at home and now this is the first sort of uh, real puzzle that we're gonna come across so we're gonna hit the button once the bridge will go to the left so then what we need to do is hit the button again, and that'll put it into the middle. So then we can go across, nice old pencily. Then we're gonna, well, we're gonna hit a tentacle, bro. Now, there is another achievement here for killing an enemy with one heavy attack. So, um, try and get your health, try and get the health down, or one of their health down as much as you can. And then when they come to attack you, Make sure once they are both, once the heads are both down on the ground, you can then um, kill them with one heavy attack. And if you don't manage to do it here, there's a great place with the spiders in the last town anyway. But again, if you want to do that, wait until both the heads are down, hold the X button and swing away.
So if you managed to get it there, awesome! If you were like me and didn't get it, like I said, don't worry, there's a great place where there's uh, basically four spiders are going to attack us in quite a small area. So there's that achievement, and there's also an achievement for hitting three enemies with one heavy swing attack, which again, we'll get in the same sort of area later on. So once you've kicked the bridge across and picked up the blue battery, we'll kick the um, switch uh, two more times. And again, if you need some health, we got some great health there. We got some great balls right there. Uh, but anyway, we are now going to swing across. We're going to pop the blue battery in. So remember the white button to open your inventory and a button to pop it down. And that's going to get the next one going. So hurrah! So again, if you need it, there's more health. Um, and that is a forgotten memory. 16 memories to be exact in this game. So we are going to go ahead and grab that. So you kick the switch. We are going to head back up to the main area. Grab the blue battery again. And then we are going to kick this switch and put it back into the middle. And then once that's in the middle, we are going to flip it through. Again, we are going to go ahead and get this first memory, of course. It is part of achievement. So now we're going to continue heading down, down the old lily pads. Don't look down because it, uh, yeah, it looks quite scurry and you ain't got a parachute. So once you put the blue battery in, the bridge will appear. The memory shall be yours. So again, with the second game, there was a whole cutscene happening. Uh, this one, it's just a little thing on the right there. Um, so we're all good. So then we can continue upwards and over the stone path. And uh, in fact, yeah, your first achievement should have unlocked as well there. I remember that. So there's the three achievements that don't actually unlock on screen. The first three achievements of the game, which is not annoying at all. Hip, hip, hip. So we now need to follow the nightmare. Hey, don't talk about me like that. I'm saving my step for kicking your butt. But we're going to get some tentacles going, so, you know, you do the tricks, B to dodge, hard swing with the holding the X button. Your struggle is pointless, friend! Everything is! <laughs> Onwards! To save the mine! <laughs> And there we go, you'll also get the second achievement there for completing the intro, nice and easy. So, welcome to Cerebrum City, uh, Cerebrum City, sorry, um, and, oh, man, Dusty is very grumpy, somebody ought to take the wooden sword out of his back. So once we get here then, we are going to get the majority, so this is like the uh, kind of main hub area, and we're going to get the majority of doors for this first section. So, first door is immediately on our left here. We have to be reasonable here. Yes, be reasonable, Mayor Relic. Be. And the next one there uh, will be next door, the House of Nerves. You're getting on my House of Nerves. Next one, just to the right of it, of course, is the House of Paru. As that sounds good to me. Next one will be the House of Optimism. Laughter is always the best medicine. That is true. Next one then to the right of that, the House of Anger. This is also true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And don't forget that like this one just here under the steps. Very easily missed. That can be easily missed, that one. Just under the pencil steps. And the one to the right here. There we go. So that's the majority done. Then we'll head up the stairs. We're going to get this door knocked now. The House of Nostalgia. Yeah, me too. Now head to the left and knock on the House of Reconstruction. Jesus criminy. Okay. All right. Sounds uh, sounds quite weird to me, but there we go. So we're heading up the steps and to the left. Damn stairs. Yeah, he's telling me damn stairs. So we're going to head down these next pencil stairs in order to get the house of a party, a pasty. And the next door to the left of that, the house of stress. This is what most people in real life, um, <laughs> this is what we're all like. And the house of order just to the left of that as well. Zementis Birken. Now, I, th I think literally 95% of us will just be the house of stress, the house of party and the house of stress. Uh, so there's the third achievement there. The, uh, for knocking on all doors in the outer and inner Cerebrum City. So that should be now three achievements for you. Now we can just head up the stairs and have a nice long chat with Mayor Relic. Now I have you, crook. Farewell! <laughs> May your days be soiled in dread and despair. <laughs> It looks so strange. Mayor Relic! Piper, you brought back something old and musty. Your presence brings me joy, old Dusty. Mayor, what the heck happened here? Trauma in the conscious mind. The nightmares have come unconfined. They've seized our lands without remorse. We hide in fear behind closed doors. That's why the mayor sent me to find you. So a few nightmares escape the gate and you're scared, huh? I'm not your guard anymore, mayor. I'm only here to beat that thief and get my stuff back. You have been unneeded for long, my friend, but the mind now needs your aid again. Yeah! Needs my aid? Huh. <laughs> the mind stopped challenging itself. I've been forgotten. I cannot blame you for feeling so rotten. So, do you know why the gate acts strange? We can't go through. Too much fear came through the gate and left it in an altered state. Enough gibberish. How do we fix it so I can get my scrapbook back? If you must the gate traverse, the flow again must be reversed. Defeating a nightmare, I'll confess, should put an end to all this mess. So beating up a single loose nightmare could reverse the gate? Okay, Mayor. Where do I find one? A gangly coffer slinkered by and disappeared into Freedom Isles. Creative thoughts now drown in gas. This seedling here should clear your... All right, Mayor Relic kind of looking like a Squidward SpongeBob hybrid character or something there. Uh, but anyway, this will be our first thing, so we'll get the seedling to effectively... We have to go through two big levels, beat the nightmare boss at the end, and chuck them into this thing to get right up. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the game. More of the game. So, we will begin cracking down. And we are going to be heading to the right side of the brain, first of all. So, we will continue heading down to the right. And let us begin. After we put the seedling in here, of course. Like, growing an idea! Let's just hope it holds up. <sighs> More damn stairs! Ah, Freedom Miles! Isn't it great to be back in the creative part of And welcome, my friends, to the Freedom Promenade! Right, and we're going to immediately knock this first door here on the left. Nobody seems to be at home, that's fine. We're just going to continue up. And over the bridge to see our new nightmare friend to defeat. Visitors! How delightfully inconvenient! 
And apparently he stinks like farts, which is always nice. Right, make sure to knock this door as well then. And this is going to be yet another one. And then just follow him down the hill. Up with the plague, man, just down the road. So, Mr. Fartman, or whatever, we'll call him Mr. Fartman, yes. Uh, basically, he's going to throw these stinky feces-infused jars at us. Now, what we actually ne do need to do is go to the flower, and he, uh, he needs to aim it for the flower. You might get hit in the process, but that's fine. Not if we smell you first, which we can do from 16 miles away. But anyway, once the handle gets going, as you can see, you can then turn the windmills in front of you in order to get through the dis casting diarrhea fart clouds. I mean, they could just be normal clouds, but they keep talking about him that he smells of farts and stuff. So, you know, that's what we're just going with, fart clouds and stuff. Right, make sure to grab any silver balls, of course, remember, as always. Uh, get some health there if you need it too, otherwise we can just head over. Now we've got these little rat things that will spit, um, we'll call it diarrhea out of the mouth. So obviously, as soon as they begin, you're going to need to dodge them and quickly hit them before they go back underground. Like so. There we go. Collect those balls, put them square in your mouth, and let's get on with it. There is another door here, which we are going to knock. So make sure to knock this door as well. Me and my brothers at the brigadier. Yeah, okay, cool. So we're going to take the red battery and we're going to take the green battery as well. So both batteries, in all fairness. Uh, heading back up. <laughs> so once you've done what you need to do, go ahead, put the red battery in the red battery slot. That's obviously going to get the windmill going. Then uh, press the A button to turn the handle a couple of times until the far clouds in front of us disintegrate. Like a big smelly... Dash door fart. I say dash door because I'm not Australian. I mean just eat fart. But anyway, another rat we need to get rid of. Remember to dodge his diarrhea mouth. In fact, there's two. So, yeah, you do you too. Once that fight is done, pop in the green battery in the green battery socket, as I would highly recommend, and that's going to blow the one bit of fart cloud away, um, but it will reveal a blue battery and another handle. So with these handles on the double windmills, uh, obviously what we're going to do there is continue to just turn it around until the way in front of us is, yeah, gone. But now there's falling teeth for some reason. I mean, that's a lot of teeth to be losing and falling. So, obviously, as soon as you see the shadow, either wait or just quickly dodge your way through. And you can go ahead and hit the handle. You're going to have to do a heavy attack on this tree to get the handle. So, as we have the handle, we can head back to the first windmill here, pop the old handle in. Ah, it should fix it, yes. And then we can then move it to the left to get over this big caterpillar bridge or something. So, make sure, of course, to knock the... In fact, this is a bit of a puzzle for a memory. So, every time that he says bre, you have to ch uh, knock the left door. And every time he says bra, you have to choose the right door. But it's all random for you, so it's got. I've got the uh, solution up top there. So bra equals left door, bra equals right door. So just keep doing that until the memory unlocks. This also does count for knocking of the doors. Whoa. 
Bruh! 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 And of course you know when you've done it right because the lights were switching on and then we get yet another memory to enjoy. Ha! Need your teddy to sleep, you're such a big baby! Todd. Okay. And uh, we got some classic bird music going on, but anyway, we've got the red battery, so pick the red battery up, and then we can just continue onwards, or sort of back in our selfwards. So back over the old uh, caterpillar bridge we go. And then we are going to turn the handle and obviously get rid of the fart cloud to the right of us. And then when we're back over Teeth Bridge, we're going to pop the red battery in. And of course, that's going to get this set of uh, fart cloud out of the way. Watch out again, of course, for the falling teeth. They do sort of uh, come everywhere and uh, they just smash me square square on the noggin. So get some health if you need it. And there we go, continuing on our way. Lovely. Right. It's a kind of mini boss fight with old uh, Diarrhea Man right here. So what's going to happen is he's going to obviously throw his Diarrhea Jars at you, but some that he throws are not going to explode straight away. And it's those ones like this one here you've got to hit towards him. You don't have to do a heavy attack, just as long as you hit the jar, which doesn't break towards him. And then eventually he will give up and run away with crap in his pants. Nice and easy. Right, pick up all of your silverest of bonuses and then head up, the st uh, uh, head up the stairs and then we can finally grab what he was guarding all along. The rope with a hook. The very secretive rope with a hook or something. Um, you can hit these, um, they're not guitars, you know what I mean, the, the ones with the strings. Man, am I stupid. But anyway, they don't actually do anything, I just wanted to hit something. I was feeling angry at this point in my life. Right, so what we're going to do then, we're going to hit this uh, fishy-looking plant. Then we're going to open the inventory, put the rope with hook on it, and then when the worm comes out, that's when we're going to use it, and we're going to worm him up. Get out! <laughs> Jeez, shut up and fasten your seed belt. De and I was like, what? When the mind stopped practicing the ukulele? Waste of talent if you ask me, but... Finally, we're here. <laughs> fasten your seed belt. That was a good one, Dusty. So, here we are then on some more teeth. Now, we will actually be soon coming up to said um, boss. He's not, he's not going to be too far away. So it's basically kind of like just over an hour for like each section. There's two bosses we got to do, plus a third one, but we'll come back to that later. So anyway, uh, the first diarrhea man's gone. We're going to knock on this door um, after we uh, destroy El Ratface right here. <laughs> So 
there we go. Once that's done, remember to knock on the door, as I said. It's it's easy to think you're going to come back to one later, and then you actually forget it. So knock the door, and then what we need to do is uh, kick this tune tree until it lands on the tail, right in the middle. Uh, so we may take a few attempts here. As you can see, I was terrible at it first. But once you finally get it, yeah! Three times! In the edit, anyway, uh, I think that took me about ten times overall. Uh, we're gonna slide down here with the awesome guitar -y music. Hey, Dusty. That tree bears a strange flute. Yeah, but how to get it? <clears throat> so what we need to do now, we can't actually kill this rat. Uh, so what we need to do is actually get him to spit his diarrhea -y stuff from his mouth onto the tree. We need to do that a couple of times until the flute falls and we can pick it up and run away. Look, the flower. So there she blows midi, pick it up. And again, you just can't, you can't kill this rat thing, so don't even try and don't even worry. So we are going to head um, back to the right here, and then we're going to press the A button in order to use the catapult and go, uh, wee, boink, and we just boinked our way through the boinker. Then we can head up left, up the bridge, and continue. So once you have killed the ratnesses of Regis's, make sure to knock on both doors here, the kettle house door and the apple house door. I guess no one lives in there. Then we can go ahead, pop the flute down on the bridge, uh, get some more silver balls and then knock this third door. A lot of work we've got to do. Plus, of course, grab the handle here from the tree. Hey, yo! Thanks for fixing the bridge, bro. Huh. Once we have slid all the way back down the old worm tail, it's pretty much a worm, snake worm, pop the handle down, turn it once, and that'll catapult us all the way up past the old diarrhea-ness of the old fartness, or we're basically on the same island as him now. Right, so head slightly right here. Uh, now this guy actually uh, chucks three black things, three even worse bits of diarrhea at you at the same time, so you just need to avoid his three attacks and then hit him dead like that one. There we go, nice and easy. So what we'll do is actually uh, head up the lift first of all. And then if we don't get stuck, we can go ahead and knock the door on the right. No there we go. Drum kit, man. Where we go get you some, uh, we go get you some electric man. Right, pick up the orange battery and head back down the lift. Make sure then that, again, if you need some health, of course, you can go ahead and grab that if needed. And then we can just cross over the bridge, take a right to get up the stairs. And then we pop the orange battery socket in. There we go. Of course, that's going to get the windmill going again. And then we're going to turn the handle and we're going to turn that one all the way to up in front of us. So off we go. So with this metal disc then we can actually pick this one up, so we'll go ahead and do that, cross over the bridge to your left again, head down this little hill and then we could put it in, um, we're going to grab the orange battery while we go, and then we can pop it onto the lift which is right in front of us.
There is going to be another rat or two here, so get your sword ready and fight to kill to death. <laughs> Right, once that bit is done, you've regained some health and done all of that, we can uh, use the metal disc here on the top of the lift in order to get back down. And then we can cross over the bridge again. And then, of course, make sure to grab your actual metal disc this time. Uh, it's so easy. All these little things in this game. So easy to forget to pick something up and then you've got to go back for it again. But, you know, that's pretty much every game, isn't it, almost? But once we are up here, then, uh, we are then going to put the orange battery socket down. That is going to get rid of the far cloud. Make sure to grab those balls as well. And the road be clear, dog. Fart smelling, uh... Wimp! Such clever insults. Right, mate. So, our aim here is to basically get these three screws and put them in the trombone or the trumpet. Yeah, the trom trumpet, the trom bump it. So, this is the first one then we get for free, and then we're going to have to basically go into two new areas, do the things in there, and then the way will be clear. So, the first of all, we're going to head to the left and go up this way. Now, you do want to be careful here, there's a lot of teeth falling, so. Again, every time you see the shadow, either wait for it or just jump forward. Um, now, getting onto these platforms can be kind of finicky as well, so just be careful of that. Now, what we need to do then, there's three bunches of flowers that we need to get rid of, so there's obviously no point killing the rat like I do, because he will just keep appearing anyway, so don't worry about that. But there's a flower on the bridge, and there's a flower just where we were standing there on either side to get a handle, a socket, and a battery. So just stand by the flowers. Get the diarrhea boys on them, and job done. There's the first one, we pick up the green. So once you've done that, uh, this flower gets Gone. We can then obviously turn the handle and get rid of the fire cloud right in front of us. There we go. Um, and job done. So, yeah. Also, I realized I said pick up the green. Um, obviously, I think 420 enthusiasts there were just like, huh, huh, where, where, where's the green? But no, I was just talking about the battery. I'm sorry, you guys and girls. So anyway, uh, nip down. Uh, for some reason, I decided to try and kill the thing that couldn't be killed. There is some more teeth falling down, so just be uh, uh, careful and aware. I've got the hang of this now. You've still got it, big guy. And then we get to this island, pick up the blue battery. Noisy and slicey. Right, head down the lift. Did we miss a socket earlier? Probably. Well, no, but no, we didn't. Heading down, and continue to heading down. Uh, we are actually heading back to the last area that we were in, because we didn't have the blue battery. Now we have the blue batteries, we can put the blue battery in the blue socket, and blah, 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 blah. If you know what I mean. Yes, you know what I mean. So anyway, continue downwards for a minute.
So we're back into this sort of main area. So we're going to head down the stairs now. We're going to take a right, go back up the lift. And this is where we didn't have the blue battery earlier. So once we pop this in, we will get the next memory. You brought my power back. So cool, man. Let's uh, rock and roll, you know. And of course, you can only get the memory when you knock on the door. So, um, obviously, even though we've done it earlier, we're all good. And he leaves behind his wife and two sons, the youngest still in primary school, Robert de Stranger. Uh, which, uh, well, that sucks. That was a rather depressing one. Anyway, off we go. We've got the memory from this area, so then we could just head back up. And obviously make sure to be grabbing your metal discs on the way. So head up, go up to the right, go down, and head into the overpass of Originalitar. We like it, we like it, eh? So, we got the stairs, head to the left, jump up onto this lift here, and we can finally put the blue, uh, in fact, no, we're not even worrying about the blue battery socket, because we're just going this way. Ah, oh, damn it. So here we are then, back with the um, unkillable rat, the old diarrhea rat. Now we actually need to grab the green battery, so before you nip off, just go ahead and grab the green battery. And again, these whole batteries and things, it's so easy to miss something, or miss, or forget picking something up, and then you get to the next area and you're like, what the hell? And then just simply head off to the other side, avoiding the teeth. And, you know, try not to get stuck like I do here for a bit. Oh, mate, that's bang toddy, bang toddy there. Right, so once we have that, we can now put our blue battery into the battery socket. And that will obviously move the way for us. And then, ta -da! It's the bridge. I mean, how does a, a far cloud hurt us? I don't know, but still. Anyway, once you've got that, this is not a door, so don't worry. So just head straight up to head to the next area. The symphonic lobe, where the mind... Ugh, man! What the heck are those things? Welcome then, Harry Potter, to the symphonic lobe. So these are the enemy types for this area. We still have to fight a few rats in just a bit, but this is obviously uh, just a case of avoiding those big blue balls that are going to come out your face. <gasps> hey, look! Shiny! Oh! <laughs> What now? Hey! Get back here! That's my cousin! Your cousin? My you cousin sucks bum! Right, so uh, now we have to do some more windmill puzzling, so we'll obviously turn the handle once in order to get the far cloud on the right out of here. Head up the steps. And now this is going to be a puzzle for the ages. Sort of for the ages. So what you need to do is turn the handle, 
And as you can see, the sort of self-reflectors, the mirrors, whatever you want to call them, they will obviously point it in a certain direction after they get spat out. So for now, what we're going to do then is just keep it shining to the left or keep the uh, mirror. I'll just call it a mirror for short. They will keep the mirror to the left. So we don't need to worry about that. Again, teeth will be happening. So just be careful. And then as soon as the coast is clear, head up and obviously dodge to the right. And then just do the same to the left. Wait until a ball, a ball goes and nip it on. So, first of all, we're going to head to the left before we go up, because there is a handle with a mirror we're going to use. And we're going to turn this one to the sort of upper right corner. And there it is. So, once it's looking upper right, uh, we'll then begin to head up. And continue on to the right. There is another handle with another self-reflecting mirror thing here. So, this time we are going to turn this one uh, just to the upper left, as you can see there. And then head up uh, to the left still. And we've got a couple of things here that we need to do to sort out to win. Uh, but we'll be back in just a little bit. So head to the lower left part of the bridge. And there is going to be a handle just on the floor that we are going to pick up. Ta-da! There we go. There's the handle. We're going to kick this button. or kick the switch. And that's going to pop these down. We'll come back again in just a little bit to sort out that particular door. Uh, but for now, we will continue to head back to the right. And this time we are actually going to start heading up. So again, just be careful to avoid all of these. And there we go. Once we've made it with the handle, we're going to turn the self-reflecting mirror to the, not the bottom left, but we are going to turn it to the bottom right. Eventually, there we go. Now we'll try and we'll try. Oh, okay, there we go. So it's basically looking at us, bottom right. And that'll sort of put now uh, these blue balls in a sort of square position. So we'll head back down and around. <laughs> So now we're going to go to the right ahead of the bridge. So obviously we're just going to wait for a second. We've got the missing handle so that we can pop out said handle. And then we can turn that one down to the bottom left. There we go. And now it's going to start getting all squared up and such. So let's go down and we'll continue uh, to the left. Just right here. Um, now he'd already done what we needed to do so now we can just come back to this area with the big ear and we're going to put this uh big flute up once we're going to put this big drum up uh twice Sounds almost right now. uh yep we need to do this one twice so there we go once we've done that and then the xylophone we're going to put pop that up three times and that's going to get us the old maraca raca raca Hmm, a rattle fell down. Ugh, I hate that sound. Nah, mate, we'll have a good rat, rat, rattle. So once we have picked up the rattle and you've collected all the silver stuff that you have, uh, head to the left upper bridge right here. Turn this around to the far cloud and this is another memory to grab. <laughs> well, I didn't know you could play the ukulele. Now go take a shower, mom. Thank you, mom. Right, so now we're gonna head uh, to the left side of the bridge uh, again. And of course, we're gonna slide down and we are going to knock on the old apple door. As you can tell, you don't have to listen to the whole conversation just as long as you knocked on the door, which is good. So then we continue down and then we are in just a moment gonna put the rattle on the snake. But for now, we are going to turn this handle around again until it is pointing to the left, just so that the far cloud's back again. And then stick the rattle on, and that'll be as good as goiled. There we go. It's a rattle on a snake. It's almost like a Yeah, rattle. I get it. Take that, 
Crypto Cousin. Thank you for my one shiny ting and my many shiny tings. Weird kleptomaniac cousin. So once you've grabbed all the balls that you can there, we'll drop down, go down to the bridge again, and we'll head to the left and we can finally pick up our next trumpet piece. So with that one, we can head to the left and continue back to the overpass of originality. We're back at the overpass of originality. So with that second piece in, we can then finally head to the right. Now, this was a bit of a pain to sort of figure this one out, in all fairness, but it's a whole puzzle thing. So first of all, we will turn this handle right in the middle until the far cloud on the left is gone. And then we're going to turn at this particular handle. Now, a lot of this seems obvious, but there's little bits you have to do first. So we're just going to turn this um, until it's pointing to, uh, down. Uh, no, sorry, not, <laughs> not quite yet. Um, we are going to turn this around so it is pointing to the... R yes, pointing it... pointing down, yes. Oh, gosh, sorry. So once it is pointing down, then go to the double windmill. And then we're just going to turn this up to the uh, downwards as well. So put them both down so there's two clouds that have cleared and then we can head down to this little bridge. Uh, grab some health again if you need it, otherwise there is a big heavy handle that we need to pick up. There we go. So, with that bit done, we can now go back to the double windmill. And we are going to put this one... Um, oops, sorry, over to the left. And then with, uh, with the left-hand side handle, until the windmill is pointing to the right. Now again, there is a reason for doing this, because with this double windmill then, what we're going to do is turn that, and we are going to use it to uh, change the right cloud, the right-hand side cloud. That will then uh, enable us to put the handle down, and use this third windmill, which is always nice. So with this third windmill, um, what we're going to do is pop this one to the cloud behind. And then with the double windmill here, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put this one to the cloud behind as well. And then just do the same with the left one. And then just nip ahead, up the steps, go to the end to grab the little seedling. All this work for a lousy sprout. On with the garden gloves, Dusty. I'm sure we'll find use for it. So back to the grind and the good stuff. Or just the grind. So pop the windmill there to, so it's the right, so we can go to the double windmill. And then what we're going to do here is leave this on the right again, so we can go up this third windmill cloud. And with this third windmill, we are then going to put it straight down. So the trumpet bit is basically free, and then what you need to do is put the windmill, the double windmill there to the left. Sorry, there was a bit of an edit. So the windmill there to the left, put the, the left-hand side windmill pointing downwards, and then we can go and put this double, wi double windmill pointing downwards as well. Ta-da! And there she has it, mate. So we're going to head to the left, pop this seedling in, and then finally we can nip over. Thumbs up, Dusty. Green thumbs, that is. <laughs> gardens of creativity. Welcome to the gardens of creativity. 
So, we'll immediately find an Apple house to knock on. So, uh, yeah, we will do that one and then continue on. And there's going to be, effectively, just like this big massive tentacle thing. Not like the ones we've seen previously. He will still try to attack you, but we've basically got to use a puzzle in order to beat him and get our little trumpet piece. The weed tentacle? Is the weed tentacle. Yes, thank you. We can see it there. Right, so, first things first, head left onto the old caterpillar. And we're going to pop the metal disc that we've got to pop it down here. And we're going to, obviously, get ourselves lifted up. Kick the tree. That's going to get one of the nuts down, and that's exactly what we need. So in order to uh, get your nuts broken into, we're going to put the nut down on this little rock. You have to stand on the rock. Now, once he... So stay, as you can see there, i seen the shadow I moved, he moves with you. So you've got to stay there for a quick second and then move. So sometimes it's hard to get the timing down. So we'll just stay. And then after a second or two, move over. There we go. Once that's done, we've got ourselves a dry seed. Heading upwards now. Uh, obviously, make sure that you picked up your metal disc as well from the left, uh, from the lift on the left-hand side, and then kill this rat. <laughs> and don't forget, of course, to knock the door once you're done with it. So we will dare. Uh, I'll put on the kettle. Thank you, old British charmer. So once that's done, we're going to turn the handle here uh, just a few times until it is pointing to the right. So not to the left. The obvious path there was the left, but it's actually the right pointing up. And then we can head back down. Again, remember to grab the metal disc from the left-hand side lift if you didn't earlier. And then we can go ahead and just well, nip down to the bottom right here. So up we go. And as long as you've got your metal disc, we can pop that in and head up. Thank you very much. And then we can just go straight up in order to kick the next tree and grab the beautifulest nut you will ever see. It don't mean nothing. Lightweight, baby. Anyway, then we can go ahead and grab the green battery, which will, of course, turn the windmill off. But that's fine. We'll pop it in the next one here with the uh, water mill. So once we've headed down, we're going to kick this switch in order to turn it on. That's going to get a bit of water going, and a seedling will pop out. Lovely. So that's another seedling we've got here. Right, so now we're going to head up, and this time we are going to go down the steps. So the very bottom. <laughs> the very bottom. The very bottom there. And then with this, we're going to pop the seedling in, and that should get a flower for us lovely to nip on through to the other side. So we're going to head to the right, we're going to kick this squat in the nuts after killing this rat. It's a black diarrhea and normal diarrhea one. And as you can see there, I earned the achievement back into shape. That's for earning your first bonus health point with the silver balls we're collecting. So you may get that now. If you don't get it now, you'll get it in just a bit. But you should roughly get it uh, around the same time that I do. So once we have grabbed that nut from the tree as well, we are now going to crush both our nuts underneath this tentacle. And yes, I know that's how it sounded. That was on purpose because somehow that's a fetish. Yeah. So once your both your nuts have been released and freed from the dry spell, we're going to head down and we're going to pop both of these dry seeds 
in and get some water on them. And then we're going to head up once again up to this little area here, take the lift up and this time eventually when we're on it we are just going to go ahead and take the green battery off that will stop the water which is all good because we don't need it anymore but we do need some poison to destroy the tentacle to destroy the fly so head back down make sure to pick up your metal disc again and then this time we're going to head upwards and leftwards <laughs> And when I said leftwards, I actually meant downwards. Sorry, that's my bad. Uh, so here we go then. We can now head to where we couldn't before. So this time we're going to pop another seedling in the old fertile fertility soil. And this is where we grab the, the poison. Plus we can go ahead and grab another uh, couple of rats. In fact, these are the last two rats for the level, which will get us another achievement for uh, destroying all the plague rats. And another door to knock. <laughs> Plenty of pots, dudes. Let me know if you need it. Just what we need to clear the mind. So again, that should have been three things happening there. The exterminator achievement for removing all the plague rats from the Freedom Isles. Knock the door, pick up the poison, and then we can get the seedling to head over to the left little island. Now you think just traversing this island would be a lot easier if we had a jetpack or just something. But, you know, what do I know? I'm not figment. I'm not dusty. So once we pop the green battery in, we can then head down and go ahead and grab this next memory. That is all that is on this island. Why don't you just ask some of the other kids from school if they want to play? Because I hate the other kids from school, man. Piss off. That's how we, a, a, a normal um, English uh, lesson goes. That's how a normal English conversation with a mum goes. I, I assume. Possibly. Right, so what we're going to do now is pop the poison down. That's going to kill the old anime tentacle. And get us the third and final trumpet piston. Yeah, way to blow, buddy. Yeah, still not your buddy, Piper. Nope. Another trumpet piston. Good work. That was a tough nut to crack. Get the overpass of originality. But before going and uh, putting that third trumpet piston in, we can see we've just gone to the right there, and now we've got uh, enough batteries. So the green on the left, and then we're going to put the green one on the right. So now they've got two green batteries that'll pop us down and grab us another memory. Now, what actually can I do with this one in this time? Oh, congratulations with a degree, hon. Your dad would be so proud of you. <sighs> Just smoking some cigarettes. Because you can't say the F word now because you get banned. Uh, it's cigarettes and cigarettes only. Right, anyway, now we've done with this stupid puzzle area. That I hated that puzzle area. Let's pop our trumpet in. Nib on to the right. But, of course, not before grabbing all the silver balls, which appear... And knocking on this door as well. Now, would this be... Would I be correct in saying this is the last one? No, I'm not correct. But we do need to knock it anyway, and then head upwards. Oh, in fact, oh, yeah. no, it was. <laughs> it was the last one. There we go. So, yes, I was right. Wow, look at me being right. Oh. 
Oh, can you smell it? The diarrhea dude is close. I smell the ending of this. Time to change the dirty laundry. You're trapped like a fart in an elevator plague. Give it up! So it doesn't look like it then, but this is the actual boss fight. So what we need to do is wait for him to throw his diarrhea jars down and onto the flowers. So if you want to just uh, get to the flowers here on the left and the right, I'll just sort of open the way for us. Hit over to the right when you can and then wait again until the, he hits the flowers. Once Fatface has done that, we're going to go ahead, grab the blue battery and then nip over to uh, pop the blue battery in just next to this windmill. That's obviously going to get rid of the old fart stink. And again, we need the diarrhea jar in order to hit these flowers. Providing, of course, that I do it right the first time. Uh, so once those flowers have been done, then you can grab the blue battery and head over to the left-hand side. And again, we are going to wait until he throws. Ta-da! Ah, oh, damn you! Now it doesn't matter if it, it doesn't matter um, if you uh, hit him with any of those jars. You can't actually. He doesn't actually do anything. He just basically stays there. Uh, so grab some health if you need it, of course. And then we're going to put the blue battery in next to the catapult and swing ourselves up. That should fire up the catapult. As you can see, there is a broken handle for ye and me and you. So, uh, nip down the snake's tail. No, oh, it doesn't do the music this time. Of course not. Uh, grab the red battery and then uh, continue on your way downwards again. There we go. And then once we're here, we will nip over the other side of the bridge and pop the red battery in its socket. That's going to get the next gas cloud out of the way. And then, of course, stand by the flowers so he will diarrhea them up. Once that's been done, grab the red battery again, head over to the right, that gets rid of that flower, of course. So now we will wait for one of those jars in order to hit him with it. That's not one of the jars. This time he will go backwards and stay there. Right, so once he has done that, then we're going to head back over to the left. Uh, make sure to turn the handle in order to uh, change the catapult, make it go left, and then go ahead and pop yourself on it. We're going to pop the handle in, and then what you're going to do is hold the A button so that the hat will go underneath the water. Press the A button again, and that is going to end this boss fight. But I do have to admit, the, these Figment games have the most creative boss fights. It's re they are really, really clever, rather than just... Go and try and kill this guy. It's a really clever way of these uh, integrating these boss battles. Because he has a shower and he no longer smells of diarrhea that's been trapped in your ani crack for the best part of three years. Damn, can you imagine that? Anyway, after doing that, you will get the creative cleaning achievement. And uh, what we'll do is head to, just before we grab the mask, we're going to head to the left. Um, if you need a bit of health there, you can have it, but we're actually just going ahead and grabbing the blue battery. So once that's done, then we can go and grab the mask, and onwards to Mayor Spongebob Squidward Pants. 
Let's get the mask to the gate so I can get my scrapbook back. And save the mind! Yeah, yeah, whatever. More comfortable journey going back. Yeah, no sneaky rad bastards this time. So we're not quite done with the area yet, so when we get back to Sir B... 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 J. Bieber's bum city... No, nobody wants to look at J Justin Bieber's bum, do they? Ugh. But it's spottier than a spotty thing. Uh, but anyway, we need to go back into here for, first of all, uh, for the achievement... Um... 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 Nostalgia, sorry, that's the one, basically for going back to the Freedom Isles and Clockwork Town after defeating the Nightmares. But we're going to get some memories here as well. So we're going to knock on this tower door. And he's going to be like, you're scared to wear the plague, yeah? And that's going to get us the next memory. And what did it say? If you got a say within the paper, you're not old enough to play your crayon, you little barstool. Uh, anyway, once we've headed down here, the path should still be open for us. Go across the old worm bags. And then over the next bridge. And then we're gonna take a um, we're gonna take this green battery here. That's got obviously gonna power it down, that's fine. Cross back over the bridge. Head down, grab the red battery now as well, so you've got a good couple of colours. Head down to the right-hand side rather than over the worm. Go down. And then we're going to put the red battery socket in here, just next to the house. Oh, my Oi, my power's back! But that will be the next memory once you've knocked on the door. Kettle on! Oh, kettle's are on! That's the freedom miles I know and love! Oi, yeah! Dad's not feeling too well today, hon. Please go put the kettle on. Anyway, make sure to grab the red battery again before you go, but that'll be another two achievements here. Time for tea. Tea for two and two for tea. Plus the distant memories achievement as well. So just simply follow the uh, path basically up and left in order to get back to Cerebum City. And uh, yeah, let's go for the second nightmare. My friends, so full of renewed energy and purpose. Uh, the thief. Don't you see the absurdity of it all? <laughs> Damn, we'll render your every action meaningless. Enough philosophy. I will kick your face in. Every breath is borrowed, friend. Time to reimburse! <laughs> we lost him! Again! <gasps> Mayor Relic, are you okay? A touching reunion. We've got the plague's mask. What do we do now? To fix what's broken and change the flow, into the gate the mask must go. Stink breath. C 
seems to work. Let's go. Damn it, it didn't work. It seems the fears are still too few. The gate needs more to let you through. Beating another nightmare? You're kidding, right? Come on, you're getting back in shape. Whatever. Nowhere to look, Mayor. I heard the hatching of cocoons, tingling legs and eerie tunes. A sinister creature crawling down into the realms of Clockwork Town. Take this gear and find its pin. It should let you two get in. So, Clock to Clockwork Town, this is always a fun one, full of spiders, so if you've got a fear of spiders, well, the next hour or so isn't going to be entirely fantastic. Um, but if you want the achievements, well, you know, you gotta face your fears, and I'm with you. Me and you will face our fears, and we're gonna fist it in the A. Right, so this time, we are going to head to the left, of course. We've already done the right side of the brain, now we're gonna head up and to the left. Pop the gear in here, and away we go! There we go. The left side of the mind is open. Next stop, Clockwork Town! <laughs> oh. Here we are! The mind's logical power center. Too much boring math here, if you ask me. Yeah, rational abilities were never really your thing. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Let's focus on our job here. <laughs> right, so first up, we head up to the left. There's going to be a door here, of course, that we're going to knock on after we take the blue battery. Take the battery, knock on the door. Oh my, white gooey stuff everywhere. <laughs> That is too easy, white gooey stuff. So that's all I'm gonna say about that one. Right, so once that door's done, we'll head down. And pop our next blue battery in. And that'll get the gears for us going. Hooray! Sorry to interrupt you two snoopers, but the road ahead is closed and a wrecked common world is being built. So we're the snoopers? Then who are you? Pardon my manners. If I had nightmares about crawling creeps, well, you will now. Let me introduce my entourage. Okay, so new enemies, these small spiders to hit you. All they'll do is just lunge at you, but they are pretty much easy enough to kill. So just kill them all. You do have to, when they're on their back, you do have to hit them again to kill them for dead. Otherwise they'll regain full health. Get back on and lunge at ye again. Au revoir, monsieur. I trust you can find your own way out. Hey, creep. Come back so I can squash you. When that is finally done, grab the old Silverinos of Pepinos and head to the, uh, well, sort of top left one. Uh, again, obviously grab some health if you need it, otherwise head up the lift and then give this phone a massive old whackaroni. Let's put a spin on it. <laughs> Come on, Dusty. Hit the spinner as hard as you can. Seems it needs a bit more force. Hit it harder, Dusty. Take it to the spin doctor. Yeah! Make it ring around. Nuh-uh. Certainly not. <laughs> so next, we will head downwards. Obviously, we don't have a blue battery just yet. 
And then we're going to turn these to um, just the one, uh, twice, sorry, in order to get it looking, uh, going straight. Head to the left and down, and then interact with the, obviously we're going to grab the blue battery here as well. Then down to the right, put the missing handle in, and that'll get us a little, a little tube bridge, a little hamster nibbly tube bridge. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna head to the left. Um, there is another. This is another door that we can knock on. Sounds like dedication to me. As soon as we do that, knock on the door. No one's home, but that's fine. Obviously, you're going to avoid swinging into the old pendulums. And then we can pick up the metal disc. We'll be sort of coming back here, back and forth for quite a bit. Uh, knock on this next door, anyway. He's just out of power. Oh, right. Welcome to the Clockwork Junction. How may I assist you? All lines are currently delayed. Can we turn the handle? Yeah, nothing just yet. So, back down to the left, into the main sort of middle area. <laughs> Then after the old spider death, then head down here, grab the metal disc, pop it down, and we can fly down. Hello! Right, um, with this left handle, we're going to turn it so it is pointing to the left, and then with the right one, we're going to do the same thing as well. And then we're going to obviously head up and grab the winding key. Don't wind me up. Right, so with that one done, we can head back into the middle area here with the blue battery. We're going to take that one out and head back the way we sort of came. And we're going to go back down to the left bridge. So it'll pop out your wind-up key, put it into the big train, and that'll get it going. Bam time, snap time, right now time. Train Mark 1, Super Transporter operational. Whoa! He woke up! Awaiting input. Great! Let's see if we can get him on a roll. Unable to proceed in desired direction. So, no time to direct El Broski. So, what we're going to do is use the handle in order to turn him around. And then we're going to go back and kick him square in the old bar. And that'll get it gar. In. Next stop, Enigma Hills. Wow! Buckethead smashed right through the spider web! <laughs> So, pop your metal disc down here to the right, make sure to knock on the door, and then we can nip on to the right. These days, the problems here in Clockwork Town really add up.
Enigma boxes. So these mega money boxes then are basically, uh, well, they are exactly what it is. They're a box we could move. Um, they are very puzzly type ones. So obviously we need to move them in certain positions in order to get around and through places. That's how boxes work. Uh, obviously it's the A button and you can just keep your finger on it in order to push it. So we're going to pull this one over to the left. Uh, push it up. There is of course going to be a lot of just Spinning around like Kylie Minogue. But once that one's out the way, you don't actually have to push it down because the path is cleared for us. So with this next one, we are going to um, push this blue boy out of the way. Oh, down one. Grab the white one and drag it down one. And push it down again. And then we're going to push that down sort of to the left there so it's completely out of the way. And then what we'll do is we'll pull this blue one up, push it, and then push it on the marked target. Good to see you getting... And of course that's going to open up the way for us. Lovely. So, more puzzles that we are going to need to be doing. So, first things first, uh, what we'll do is um, head to the uh, sort of top, sort of right-hand side. Now, these actually were a completely pain in my butt snatch. You've got to be quite quick, otherwise they can hurt you pretty bad. So, head up to the left. Again, grab some health there if you need it. And again, we're going to do some Enigma boxing puzzles. So, uh, first things first... Obviously, we will go ahead and grab the green. And by green, I mean orange battery right there. Finally. They are pretty stingy with the batteries. Yeah, that is a good point there, Miss Piper. Right, so this is... I actually died here. That is why you can see the little bit of edit skip. But what we're going to do is we're going to follow it down. So back to the left. And then we're going to head back to the... Uh, we're going to go to the right this time. Sorry. And there we go. So that's one that I actually managed to avoid and dodge. So we should have now an orange battery and a blue battery. So pop them both in. And as you can see, it is another memory. So congratulations. We have great expectations for you. Work with board, kiddo. Work with board, Peppa Pig. And there we go then. So that's, uh, yeah, so that's that memory done. Right, let us uh, continue onwards now with the progress of the story. So you can actually slow them down ever so slightly there. Um, I just got mashed up by myself there. And again, we're going to head to the left, back into the original middle area of sorts. We're going to head um, effectively down, and we are going to put the orange battery in its socket that'll get us going and then we can finally start with this enigma box puzzle so um it's a it's a pretty obvious case of we just need to push it up so do me no wait i meant do you no i meant just do the thing that i do here thanks So once we have got it right here, what we're going to do is go up the wooden plank, first of all. And we're going to go ahead and, well, you actually need your orange battery to put it in the socket first. So make sure to go back and grab said orange battery and then pop it in the socket at the top of it.
Right, so once we have finally done that, head up to the left. There is going to be a couple of spiders for us to destroy. Now, when you, again, uh, uh, like I said, if you didn't, if you don't have the deadly spit achievement for killing two enemies at once with a heavy attack, just make sure then that if you can get two spiders that have fallen uh, on their backs close together, quickly run over to them and obviously hit them with a heavy attack. Uh, but you've got these big spiders that will also throw, um, I assume, spider webs out of their a night. If we can, if we'll call it that. Um, so yeah, just kill these broskies dead. Yeah, take that, you little. Right on, Dusty. Eat dirt, pest. Yeah, good to move around for a change. So once you've done everything here, then make sure to knock on this next door. And why is one fit as dressed? Because he's too dense, eh, 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 eh. which is quite good, actually. Ah, that's a pretty good one. Right, so once you have knocked on that door, we're going to head up to the left right here. Go up and grab the metal disc, of course. I say, of course, uh, it's fairly obvious that you need to pick it up. And then we can head back down and go upwards again. Planning Plateau. Say what you want about Buckethead, but he does know how to smash through stuff. <laughs> Planning Plateau. The train's terminal station is in here somewhere. Buckethead is up there, not doing anything. The tracks don't give him much choice, Piper. I'm sure you can give him a put. There's some heavy thinking going on here. Right now, I'm only thinking about avoiding those deadly clocks.
station train drives again. Mm, good. The mind can calculate again. Look at that thing! It's one of the mind's heavy thoughts. Big and clunky. Shut it, big ears. This is my house you're talking about. Oh! We're sorry. What are you hanging there for? I'm here for a fix-up, moron, but the spider scared away everyone, leaving me hanging. Man! You never leave a guy hanging! You two imbeciles can help me get home. Take my house back to the clock tower in the other end of Clockwork Town immediately. I don't take orders from anyone, especially not from- Chill, Dusty! That heavy thought thing might be useful! If we can get the train fella to move it. Maybe you're not as dumb as you look, Piper. Lucky for you. The mind can't think straight with all this fear everywhere. There. That should set those pipes straight. Big gear house. Let's get that crane working. Gonna bring my flow from my head to the street to get the grove going. I need a beat, yo. the new paint tools. Whoa! Look how strong good old Bucket Hat is! Great! Let's see if we can use this loudmouth and his heavy house to push down the scale back in Clockwork Junction. Yo, 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 the beat might be playing, but hear what I'm saying. Take it, I need a melody to. I'm taking your style and for doing your thing. I'm bringing the swing. Yeah, here is some bling. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
second head went back this way. Next stop, Clockwork Junction. Ah, easy now, you big dingbat. I'm having lentil soup in here. Hey, why is one fifth so stressed? Because he's two tenth. Watch out, Dusty! Eight legs. Bonjour. I'm utterly disappointed in you two, sneaking around here like this. We'll stick around until you pack up your webs and leave. Clockwork Town is quite a country now, monsieur. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to die. to the spin doctor I don't have to put up with this unsophisticated violence well what oh revoir. that does it let's find the train man so I can wipe out that nightmare <laughs> you're starting to come around aren't you don't get your hopes up Your train puns are really going off the rail. be doomed, but at least I can watch the telly.
jab at me. Passing composition row. Easy now, you big boiling pot. I'm building a card house in here. <sighs> there he goes again. Buckethead is not the patient type. Hmm. This huge organ machine house thing. We blew the fear of public speaking to pieces with that. Remember? When the mind was in high school, right? It looks like the machine is out of steam now. Cheers! I'm not ashamed to go cap in hand. Music to my ears. So that's how it works. <laughs> Looks like one song is not enough. Play an encore, Dusty!
Seems like the mind has become a bit too fond of pressing buttons. But still not there yet. Keep jamming, Dusty. J -j 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 -j. Anybody home? I guess not. Steam is blocking one of those strange stones. Steam boy Bennett, letting out steam for your pleasure. Plug that pipe, big guy. Yeah, Steam Boy Bennett is out of steam. Shop's closed. Yeah, Steam Boy Bennett is out of steam. Shop's closed. open new paths. Do you know how long I've waited here? Oh well, at least I got time to finish. Oh no! Next stop, Geometry Square.
Geometry Square, my home, sweet home. Hurry up now. <laughs> Lots of webbing here. The nightmare must be close. Yeah, the clock tower is just up the road. Finally here. I need to get hooked up. You said it. Thread carefully, my friend. The far left brain is up ahead. The calculations there are deadly. the hang of all this moving stuff. And we got the sweet gear! straight lines. Since I was here last, the mind sure became a lot more organized. And boring! Dusty, another gear for the collection!
Ja. Na. Ja. Ja. We got a gear! And a good old ambush. Come at me, bugs. Set. Forklift arm 5000 deactivated. Delivery completed. Ah, there goes my last glass figurine, you brutes! Alright! Time to go up, buddy! <laughs> you bet. We've got a spider to smash. Here we are, the clock tower. Our creepy friend must be up in the tower. The spider has taken over the clock tower. The mind will be kaput.
Getting close. I can't wait. Yick! Ugh. That nasty webbing is everywhere! into my nest without knocking? Have you no menace? Bite me, eight legs. Time to bug out. After you, monsieur. Don't let the bed bugs bite, spider. Oh, death. Wrap me in thy warm light and let my spirit wander the plains of eternity. All those moments will be stuck in time like a fly in a web. Oh, life. Beauty of impermanence, I bet you au revoir. Whatever. Another nightmare bites the dust. You're damn right. Just like in the old days, buddy. Now, let's get this mask back to the gate. I hear you! Ah, good old 
Cerebrum City. I've had enough math for a year. <laughs> Let's get the spider's mask to the gate so we can end this. Mm -mm. the gate so we can end this. Another foe falls before our fight. Uh, yeah, Mayor. This time, a big, fat spider. Now use the mask before it's too late. All right, Mayor. I'll send it through the gate. <laughs> ah, now look what you made me do. Leap inside and you will find the pathway to the conscious mind. All right, let's see what's on the other side. Lead on, buddy! <laughs> I never want to play spin the bottle again. Where the hell did we end up? Not really sure. As a nestling, I was told about a kind of pathway between our home and the consciousness above. Allegedly, this place is always morphing, constantly getting reshaped by the new thoughts that filter down from the conscious mind. <laughs> So you decided to continue your pointless pursuit. Come then, and dance. Let the tide of depression roll over you. <laughs> Watch the waves. <laughs> mm, that guy is such a killjoy. Can't blame him. Everyone has something to lose. Out, Dusty. seems abandoned. I remember the sense of adventure, going for a hike not long after you left, wanting to find his own way. You should not have left three. I guess I don't really need this for my drink anymore. Wow, looks refreshed. Nah. Nope.
thing is so thick-headed. Look! The despair can't move through the shell! thing the thief stole it seems.
Ready! Uh, uh, my friends, slaves to the man, trying to stop the inevitable oncoming of fear! We beat the snot out of the other nightmares. You're next! Ha! Three second-rate phobias. Mere fabrications of a much deeper trauma. I am the true meaning of fear. Look at this place. The trauma is already taking root. <laughs> You're already too late, friend. The bloated belly anchor ran again. Will this ever end? Nightmares are cowards. No matter how tough they act, the only way to. <laughs> 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 Jig. Looks like some sort of synapse charger. got charged. Power to the Look at that! 
that book! Step on it! Hmm, actually, this pathway place rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, the things around here are the freshest thoughts, but the mind sure has slowed down. See where it leads us. We've got a nightmare to end. I think we're catching up to the sobbing chicken, but I really don't know what to expect of this place. Yeah, but keep your eyes peeled for the nightmare. What's this contraption? Way to remember, Dusty! These mongrels are here as well? Take a page from my book, friends. Life's an obstacle course. A race you cannot win. He flew away! After him, Dusty! The road seems to end here. We'll have to go by the book. Off. Hope you have your ride booked. Keep your eyes on the road, Dusty. The thief littered his hopelessness everywhere. Find a way to open it. Another one of these. Step in, Dusty. Came together nicely. Signposts and debris everywhere. Are those really the freshest thoughts? Mm, yeah. I'm dreading what they could mean. Finally, there we go. Get back on the book. Oh no, we're heading for despair. <laughs> that 
That was close! Yeah, all this despair is starting to get on my... That fear's really doing his best to keep us busy.
These memory contraptions are everywhere. The mind doesn't really connect the dots up here. Cheer up. There must be a purple battery around here. getting sick of chasing that guy around. Don't you know? In this place, you don't chase the fear. The fear chases you. Look out, Dusty! this thing yeah I'm getting too old for this stuff Piper don't talk just keep moving your struggle is pointless friend Everything is! <laughs> Ooh, made it. When I get my hands on that bastard. He flew away. I'm starting to share your feeling.
release that. Some detour. <sighs> We're getting too far from home. If only we could have caught the thief earlier, this would have been over already. to the conscious mind now. Do you have the book under control? I hope. It's just really hard to get it to... Look out! Whoa! Oof. Never judge a flying book by its cover. Are you okay? I don't know. We should have never gone this close to the conscious mind. I don't think this place is stable. Too many fresh thoughts. Oh, you too! The heroes in this travesty of a story! So insisting on ending your irrelevant existence. The celebrations are just getting started! But he escaped. Big surprise. Come on, big guy. You were born for this. And look, we can still get him!
keep losing him. What's the point? You'll never get rid of me! Maybe he's right, Piper. And if we ever get him, another nightmare will show up. Or the mind will forget all about me again. It's useless. Nothing ever changes. That's not true. You did! <laughs> Seems this is it, Piper. Might as well. <sighs> okay! I've had enough of this sad tune! We get it! Walls. They disappeared. I didn't know you could sing, Piper. Well, <laughs> you were losing it, buddy. I had to do something. <laughs> All right. I'll try to keep my head on from now on. I wouldn't want this to turn into a musical. <laughs> Ugh! <sighs> 
I think the nightmare's starting to crack up. Let's go get him. I think you're right. Let's make this count. You're wrong! Sadness must swallow everything! No more running, friend. Yeah. Seems you reached the end game. Come put an end to me if you must. But your precious book will also fall into oblivion. And your quest will have been in vain. Eventually, I always win. You don't win. All that book holds is faded pictures from the past. I'm the mind's courage. I don't need it anymore. Sleep tight, Nightmare. Take that, Dr. Dread. Oh no, Dusty, your scrapbook. Don't worry, I'll live. I'm more worried about the mind. What do you mean? The nightmares are gone, but all this was not caused by a usual scare. It must have been a huge trauma. You think the mind will get over it? I don't know. Mine doesn't really seem tuned to big challenges anymore. I think we need to go remind it. What? You mean talk to the conscious mind? Yeah.
for? What are you going to do? Sometimes, to get back on track, all you need is a wake-up call. Think it will work? I think it will. <clears throat> hey you! Mine! It is time to wake up and face your fears. Everyone feels doubt when confronted with the unknown. It's so easy to get overwhelmed by distress and adversity. But hiding away doesn't solve anything. Sure, honey? He just moved his head! I swear! Oh, my head. Oh, oh thank God! He's waking up! He's waking up. Uh. I'm coming!